In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five horizontal options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created these five uh, metallic uh, pipes or the rods. And when I click, each option comes here with the icon and the detailed text. So let me just show you how it works. When I click, you can see here it comes from the right, the step one. Then you can add your title along with the detailed text and with the icon if you are using the latest version of PowerPoint. Then on my next click, it will show the option two uh, with a different color combination than the step three, step four and step five. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel. I have created a WhatsApp group. You can join with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is also provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. I have created this slide using 2019 uh, PowerPoint version and uh, for this I have used a subtract which is available under Merge Shapes and if you are using 2013 or 2016 also it will work but if you are using 2007 then this particular slide uh, some features may not work and in 2010 you need to enable the Merge Shapes. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size and shape outline, make it no outline and I want to give kind of a metallic look for this. For that right mouse click, go to format shape and select the gradient fill. Here I'm going to use five stops. So the first stop I'm going to select and give some uh, darker color here or I can just go and select some dark color here. You can see here something darker color and here also I'm going to choose the same darker color and then I'm going to add three more stops in between so this one stop I'm going to give some lighter color you can see here gray and here also I'm going to give the same gray color and then I'm adding one more stop in between in the center and I'm going to give more lighter color so it gives you kind of a, a metallic look you can see here if you want you can just increase the size a little bit more also by holding the alt key and for this you can give a gradient no sorry the shadow effect also maybe i can select this one and make sure that the shape outline is not selected it should be no outline and then what i'm going to do i'm going to just select this duplicate this you can see here reduce the size to a smaller one maybe this much size and i'm going to keep it here and this one I'm going to just give some different color so I'm not going to change any stops here only color I'm going to change so this one I'm going to select more colors orange I'm going to select some dark orange both the ends I'm going to select the same dark orange and then here I'm going to select somewhat lighter orange so you can see here I'm selecting this and this also I'm going to select the same color and in the center one I'm going to give more lighter color so it gives us a glossy effect you can see here and if you want to give more uh, darker shade also you can just select it go to more colors customs and you can increase the shade here something like this you can see here and if you're using the latest version of PowerPoint then you can uh, do some uh, one more shape by doing the subtraction so let me just show you how to do that one for example I'm just increase the size go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here maybe this much size again make sure it is aligned properly you can see here something like this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give some black color the problem is it is uh, not aligning with this one you can see it looks like it is on top of this one so it should be aligned with this one so i'm going to select this shape you can see uh, this shape and select this by holding the shift key press ctrl d to duplicate let me just zoom out you can see here let me just increase the size further so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this one then go to format merge shape you can see here I can subtract so I end up getting a shape something like this I'm deleting this one take this up and give it here something like this you can see here and select this and bring this to front so it gives this kind of a 
the hollow look also see you can see here let me just zoom in a little bit more and make sure that it is aligned properly you can see here now again press ctrl d to duplicate at the other side again select this go to format bring to front so you can see this effect we can give and make sure that it is properly aligned so once this is done what i can do is i can add one more shape go to shapes and from the block arrows i'm going to select this one arrow pentagon draw the arrow pentagon shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to use some uh, orange color then rotate i can say rotate left 90 degrees bring this here you can see here let me just zoom in make sure it is end to end is attached and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and you can select this and you can give some shadow effect also so go to insert text box i'm going to put as step one you can see here i'm going to make it bold century gothic and if you want you can give some shadow effect and the font size font color should be white put it exactly in the center if you want you can increase the size also then i'm going to select all you can see only this one I, with the help of the mouse press ctrl g to group it and you can give some shadow effect something like this so you can see here my first option is ready and then this option i can move anywhere as per my requirement so now it's very easy for me what i'm going to do i'm going to select both this press ctrl d to duplicate so this is my second option here third option fourth option so depending on your requirement you can increase the option so this one i can move here you can see here with the help of the right arrow key so this will be here i can move this one here again this one i can move it the at the, at the end here and again make sure that this is all bring to front all this has to be bring to front you can see here or you can just select one by one and just bring to front so it looks something like this so now you can just change the step numbers this is two this is three and this is four so now depending on your requirement you can just select and change the color maybe i'm going to give a blue color combination i can select the dark blue at the both the ends you can see here and then here this side i'm going to give some lighter color you can see here and this also the same color i'm going to apply and here i'm going to give more lighter color so that we get a, a glossy look you can see something like this and for this also i'm going to use the same color the blue color and then i'm going to select this option then give some different color maybe i'm going to select a darker green both the ends you can see here and then i'm going to select some lighter greens here also the same color and in the center i can give more lighter color maybe you can think of giving something like this also you can see the shiny look and then i can select this and i am giving the same green color and here maybe i can give some purple i can go to more colors and dark purple both the ends you can see here again this side i'm going to give some lighter purple you can see the same color and then here more lighter a shiny look something like this and then for this also you can give the second color here so you can see here i've just changed the colors now if you're using the latest version of powerpoint if required you can add the icons you can simply go and select any four icons depending on your requirement select the icons and make the height and width as 0.5 maybe you can see here and then under for each option just add this icon you can see here something like this and depending on the color of the option or the banner you can just change the colors so now go to insert text box and you can add your title here you can see here your title again you can give the same color i can see i can give the same color make it bold and again give some good font of your choice and then here you can add the detailed text so let me just give some gray color reduce the font size and exactly 
align it properly you can see something like this and then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm adding the other side and for this i'm going to align right and the home go to and this also you make it align right and then you can just add it here and this one again press ctrl d i'm going to add this side and this two i'm going to duplicate and the going to add for the option four and again change the color as per the color which you have chosen so if you don't have the this eyedropper you can just simply go and select the color from the the list so you can see here something like this and then i'm going to group this press ctrl g to group it or i should have done this before so let me just group something like this you can see here once this is done we can see here all our uh, uh, options are done the design is uh, completed and if you want to give some a uh, gray dark gray background uh, gradient also you can give something like this let me just give a type i'm going to select the radial and direction from the center in the center i'm going to make it white and the corners i'm going to make it somewhat light gray color something like this now it's time to add the animation so let me just close this go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this add animation i'm going to select fly in fly in i'm going to select the option from uh say from right it comes something like this and then double click the animation increase the bounce and the timings instead of very fast make it fast or medium depending on your requirement and click ok so it comes something like this and for this i'm going to add animation any animation you can add i'm just going to add the basic zoom and this should happen after previous and for this i'm going to add animation which is stretch click ok and the stretch from left and this should happen with previous so let me just play so it comes something like this you can see here now using the animation painter i'm just going to copy the animation to the other options so here instead of coming from the uh, right it should come from left it comes something like this you can see here again i'm just selecting this animation painter i'm going to add it here and for this i'm going to click here and instead of left i'm going to make it right so again if i play it comes something like this you can see here so it's very easy for you to add the animation for the rest of the options